Have you ever felt like the world is changing faster than anyone is willing to admit? Strange weather, unpredictable solar activity, satellite companies quietly reporting strange glitches, and scientists observing the magnetic poles drifting faster than anything recorded in modern history. Beneath our feet, the Earth is shifting in ways most people have absolutely no idea about. Today, we're going to break down a topic that lives somewhere between legitimate science and internet myth. We're talking about magnetic pole shifts and what's real, what's being exaggerated, and what, if anything, we as preparedness-minded people should pay attention to. Welcome back to The One Row, where we talk preparedness, everyday carry, and developing real-world skills to help your family be safe. In this video, we're diving into actual scientific indicators behind the magnetic changes the Earth is experiencing right now. A lot of people hear the words pole shift and instantly imagine catastrophic flooding, continents flipping over, instant global destruction. That is not what the science says, but there are real measurable changes happening in the Earth's magnetic field right now, and there are meaningful ways those changes can affect our technology and daily lives. As always, the goal here isn't to scare you, it's to help you understand the world better so you can make smart, calm, informed preparedness decisions. Now, a lot has been said on this in the internet of late, a lot of people talking about it. I wanna kind of share what I've been able to find scientifically to help you be better informed. Now, don't forget to join us every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern for our live streams where we discuss real-world risk, preparedness topics, EDC, and gear, and how to keep your household ready for whatever comes next. Now, the first major indicator scientists monitor is the movement of the magnetic north pole. For most of recorded history, this pole wandered slowly, drifting around 10 kilometers per year. But beginning in the late 1990s and accelerating into the 2000s, the north magnetic pole suddenly picked up speed and began racing towards Siberia at a pace between 40 and 55 kilometers per year. That is an enormous change compared to historical averages. In the last couple of years, it has slowed slightly, but not enough to return to the slow, predictable drift of previous centuries. This rapid movement reflects changes deep inside the Earth where molten iron flows through the outer core. Those flows are responsible for generating Earth's magnetic field through a process called geodynamo. When the pole speed increases dramatically, it tells the scientists that the core flows themselves are shifting. This does not guarantee a pole reversal is coming soon, but it does indicate a more dynamic and unstable magnetic system than we had for most of modern times. The second major indicator is the gradual weakening of the Earth's magnetic field. Over the last 150 to 200 years, the field has weakened by roughly 10%, and most notable feature of this weakening is sometimes called the South Atlantic Anomaly. This is a region stretching from South America to Southern Africa where the magnetic field dips significantly lower than anywhere else on the planet. Satellites passing through this region routinely experience increased radiation exposure, temporary malfunctions, and higher rates of electromagnetic failure. NASA and the European Space Agency track this area closely because even routine satellites can be damaged by the extra cosmic radiation. Historically, magnetic field weakening is something that can occur before a magnetic reversal, but it's also something that has happened many times in Earth's history without a reversal happening at all. Even so, a weaker magnetic field means less shielding from solar storms and cosmic radiation, and that by itself is worth keeping an eye on. A third indicator is that the magnetic field itself is becoming more chaotic. Instead of acting like a clean bar magnet with a simple north and south pole, today's magnetic field has multiple lobes and flux patches that don't line up with what we see at the surface. Satellites from the European Space Agency are detecting strange distortions in the field such as magnetic patches moving under the continents and regions where the magnetic structure seems to be weakening on one side of the planet while strengthening on the other. These distortions resemble the early phases of what scientists call geomagnetic excursions where the field becomes disorganized but may not fully flip. Earth has experienced many of these temporary events throughout history. Some last a few hundred years, some last thousands. They cause disruptions, but they are not catastrophic. For preppers, the important takeaway is that the magnetic field is behaving less predictably, and unpredictability always increases the chance of techno technological disruptions. The fourth indicator involves changes deep inside the Earth's core. Using advanced satellite measurements and geophysical modeling, scientists have discovered that some regions of the molten iron near the core mantle boundary are changing direction, accelerating, or slowing down. These changes alter the magnetic field above them. Some of these shifts appear to be linked to heat variations between uh, 
uh, beneath Africa and the Pacific, which may help explain the continuing growth of the South Atlantic anomaly. None of these changes prove anything catastrophic is imminent, but they do reinforce the fact that the geodynamo, the engine of the magnetic field, is entering a more active and irregular phase. Another very real-world piece of evidence came in 2019 when the World Magnetic Model which is the global reference uh, grid used by everything from smartphone GPS systems to military fighter jets had to be updated early. Normally this model is updated every five years, but the rapid movement of the magnetic north pole was creating too much navigational air for systems that depend on it, such as aircraft, ships, and Google Maps even. This forced an emergency mid-cycle update so the global navigation systems could remain accurate. That is a clear, measurable, modern-day impact to the magnetic field's instability. So what does all of this actually mean? Does it mean a catastrophic pole shift is around the corner? Probably not. The science doesn't support that conclusion. What it does mean is that the Earth's magnetic field is behaving in ways that increase our vulnerability to solar activity. Satellite disruptions, GPS errors, communication blackouts, and the potential grid instability during strong geomagnetic storms. These kinds of events already happen occasionally, but the weaker and more chaotic the magnetic field becomes, the more frequent and intense those disruptions could be. So from a preparedness standpoint, you don't need to specifically prepare for the poles to be flipping uh, because there's nothing you can do to change it. You prepare for the downstream effects. That means preparing for power outages by having backup power options and surge protection. It means not relying entirely on GPS and GPS-based systems and making sure you know the basics of map and compass navigation. It means having backup communication such as radios instead of assuming your cell phone will always work. And it means understanding that the technology we depend on, satellites, power grids, aircraft navigation systems, may experience more problems in the decades ahead if the magnetic field continues weakening or behaving unpredictably. The good news is that nothing I've talked about today is cause for panic. A magnetic reversal, if it ever happened in our lifetimes, would likely unfold over hundreds or even thousands of years. No instant doomsday event. But smaller disruptions to our power grids, satellites, or communication networks those are very real possibilities, and they fit perfectly with the, within the kind of practical level-headed preparedness we talk about on this channel. Now, you will see some videos on YouTube or, or elsewhere where they talk about uh, a rapid uh, pole reversal, and it will cause the, the mantle to, to stop spinning and, and other types of things. And, and not to say that's truly impossible, but the best science we have and the majority of the scientific community don't believe that is actually the case, that wouldn't actually happen that way. So that's the real story. The Earth's magnetic field is shifting, it's weakening, it's becoming more complex and unpredictable, but we're not headed for world-ending catastrophe that we're aware of. By understanding these changes and the impact they have on you and your family, you can take smart, simple steps to keep your family ready. If you found this video helpful, please do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'll see you next time.